Hey guys, I know a lot of people have strong opinions about the Epic Game Store, and um, so some information I saw yesterday might cause people to have some even stronger opinions. And I'll be doing a little bit of investigating on this myself. So uh, it, I noticed this initially from this video cards article, and as my subscribers are used to, and thank you guys, I just, I think I hit 6,000 subscribers today. I'll have to double check on that, but thank you guys. Been doing this less than three months. Never expected anybody to watch my videos at all, and 6,000 subscribers. This has been a really fun hobby. Anyway, um, I will, like I said, uh, link everything in the description as my uh, normal viewers are used to. So I originally noticed this at Video Cards, although apparently they're reporting on something they saw at Hot Hardware and on Reddit, which is where this kind of initialized. So I guess there was a Reddit post saying that the Epic Games Launcher is dramatically increasing the CPU temperatures especially on Ryzen CPUs. And that's just for having the, the launcher open, not even using it, not even having a download going in the background. You could have it minimized and it's still doing it. And some people are seeing actually extreme temperature differences. For example, like 20 degrees Celsius hotter. Um, so then the people at Hot Hardware followed up on this and saw a similar result. So they reported here, and I'll, I can link the uh, Hot Hardware article here as well. I just like the video card's summary of it for display purposes while I'm talking here. Anyway, they did see um, that their temperature went from 34.28 with the game launcher closed to 56.78 with it open, and their CPU utilization went from 1% to 7% and had more uh, cores being used and, and, and all of that. And again, that's while it's literally just open, theoretically not doing anything. The Reddit post uh, backed this up by somebody saying that their 5900X was at 64 Celsius when browsing YouTube and dropped 20 degrees when it closed the game launcher in the background. Again, somebody else reporting going from 62 down to 42 by closing the game launcher. Uh, was at 46 on their 2600 watching YouTube and went down to 38 when it was closed. Uh, so not everybody's seeing the 20 degree difference, but still. Um, and the six, uh, Ryzen 5 1600 going from 52 to 44. So that's showing it on the 1600, 2600, the 5900X a couple of times. Seems to be more dramatic on the 5000 series processors for whatever reason. Hey, I just noticed my microphone's visible right there. Ah. Let's get that uh, oh, right out of the way. There we go. <laughs> anyway, that was a little bit distracting, I guess. All right, now, um, what were we doing, guys? I'm sorry. Anyway, so uh, in addition to that, the people at Hot Hardware decided to use GlassWire, which is a free uh, network traffic monitor, to just figure out, well, you know, okay, is there network traffic happening here that's causing any of this? So they did notice that it was reporting the Epic Game Launcher was sending 14 times as much data as Steam and Nvidia experience were during the same time period. And they did find it connecting to this server here. It looks like one of the Amazon cloud servers or something like that. If I was gonna guess what that looked like to me, I'm not an expert on that sort of thing. Um, so anyway, it, it does seem to be using an, a lot of, G, of, of CPU, uh, of GPU and even a CPU usage. Um, which is, it, it just seems odd how much that is. So now what I'm gonna do for you guys is I know that my computer isn't just running the game store right now, but I do have it running and I can pop up some monitors uh, while we do this. Give me one second here. So I'm gonna open up, here's the Epic Game Store. As you can see, I do have it running right now. And here is my task manager and um, I'm using, I think it's a GPU Z, but it has a temp monitor, right? has a temp monitor. So uh, we can see here that my my temperatures are up in the in the 40s. Again, I'm running OBS capturing this live right now, so I do have some, some usage going on here. Uh, we can see that the Epic Games Launcher is using about 7% of my, uh, 6 or 7% of my CPU. Now here's what I've noticed that I'm gonna add to this whole investigation. Here's what I've noticed. Notice that right now I'm on the home page of the game launcher. That's not where it starts. It starts on the game store. Watch what happens when I click on the store. Okay, I clicked on the store, look at my CPU usage. It spiked up to around 30%, and I'm sitting here waiting for it to go back down, and I'm still waiting, and I'm still waiting, still waiting. <laughs> you guys see the issue? I could even minimize this, and it doesn't change anything. 
this is using that much of my CPU. Yeah, I'm on an i5-9600K. So like, that's a six core processor, <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is using over 25% of my CPU. Um, just sitting here idling on the web store, which is what it, on, on, on the game launcher, which is what it, uh, what it defaults to. Now, if you've been monitoring my CPU temps, they might have gone up a degree or two on average here. It doesn't seem to be having that big of an impact on my CPU. Now again, I'm running other things like OBS and all of that. I did actually record um, myself monitoring this. Uh, I, I took my camera out. I wasn't doing the green screen thing and recorded myself. Maybe I'll throw some of that footage here on the end. Maybe I won't. Um, but basically I just showed doing this monitoring with everything closed on my computer except for this. I still noticed the big spikes in the CPU usage, but the temperature was, was minor. It was a couple of degrees on average at most. So I'm again on an Intel CPU. So I don't know why there's the big difference on temperature between the Intel and the AMD, but I will say that at least when you're sitting on the store page, that is an unacceptable amount of CPU usage. Watch what happens again when I go back to the home page. So clicking on the home page, watch over here on my CPU utilization. It's coming way back down, right? That's at least half uh, of what it was when I was on the store page. Now I do want to show you guys, like there's no, there's no downloads running here in the background or anything like that. There's, there's nothing updating, there's no tasks. This is not doing anything. Okay, this is just sitting here on the home page. Once again, let's jump over to the store page. Just to confirm, this is repeatable. CPU usage jumping considerably. And I will say that sitting on, the, on, on a blank home page at the kind of CPU usage I was seeing from that is also completely unacceptable. <laughs> okay, that is completely unacceptable for a background launcher that is theoretically not doing anything. Now, I'm very curious in the comment sections, can you guys replicate this? What does it look like on your system, especially if you have an AMD system? I'm curious, what happens to your CPU usage both on the store page and the home page? What's the difference there? And also what happens to your temps? Because I'm very curious if these AMD temp spikes that we're seeing not only are repeatable for you guys, but does it only happen on the store page or does it also happen on the home page? Because it wasn't clear on those articles that I read um, if they were controlling what page they were on. And like I said, from my investigations, I'm noticing a big difference here. Let me try other pages like, like the library. Um, so library seems to go back down similar to what the home page did. The friends, I don't think I have any friends on here. <laughs> no. Like I said, I don't really use the Epic Game Launcher other than I got uh, a couple of free games that I downloaded that I haven't really even used much. Um, so again, home page and back to the store page. So like I said, let me know in the comments what's happening for you. What are your thoughts on all of this? Why is this doing this, <laughs> okay? Why so much CPU usage? Is this bad programming or something more nefarious? I don't know, guys. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have an excellent day. Oh, and if you made it to the end of the video, you can think about hitting the like, subscribe, whatever. I cover PC, technology, gaming-related content. Like I said, have an excellent day.